Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Little Boy Gym Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a restaurant flyer in Korean ground. If you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my feature updates. Over here, um, I have the stock photos which I'm going to use for this tutorial and I'm going to put the link in the description below. And over here, I have typed out the wordings which I'm going to use for this tutorial. So let's get straight to the video. Guys, so welcome to Corel Draw. The first thing we're going to do is change our paper size to E5 and the property bar so and import the file for this tutorial all right guys so these are the files we'll be needing for this tutorial so the next thing we're going to do is select our rectangle tool and double click on it automatically it will appear over here so guys the next thing we're going to do is select our interactive field tool to place a color on the rectangle select over here and hold your control on your keyboard and drag this way under your property bar select under your property bar select elliptical fountain field and once you click on it it will appear this way select this and drag this way to get a perfect cycle now the next thing you're going to do is select this select this to change to place a color Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is bring in this burger and place it at the middle of the rectangle, so scale it up and bring in the next one which is the fries and the drink, the coca-cola drink, place it at the back and scale it, then rotate it to the left and place it over here. Same applicable to this one. This way. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is add a shadow underneath the debugger. Select your ellipse, ellipse to drag this way, and give it this color. Remove the outline. Then go to your effect, select blur and use Gaussian blur. So guys, this is what you're going to have. And the next thing we're going to do is bring in our text. So guys, the next thing we're going to do is create a background, like a line background. I don't know what to call it, but this is how I do it. Select your Rectangle to draw this way. Right click on it and select convert to curve. Select your shape to delete this node and place this at the middle this way. So the next thing you're going to do is 
click on this select this center node this one over here this one bring it down to this point over here so now rotate this by dragging and dropping with the right click button with your mouse this way then select ctrl r to duplicate this and this will automatically once you're pressing it it will automatically give you this so the next thing we're going to do is color this and remove the white outline by clicking on this over here group and right click select power clip inside then place it inside here this is what you're going to have so what we're going to do now guys is reduce this and select transparency tool to fade it inside the background this way so i'm going to use 96 for this I'm going to increase that to reduce it to 94 and guys this is what we are going to have as you can see we have like a line background it's commonly used for this kind of design so guys the next thing we're going to do is bring in this text over here Select your control K to break it apart and break this one also apart by selecting control K on your keyboard. Change the font. What I'm going to use for this is back to black demo. Then the font I'm going to use for this one is called Adobe Garamond Pro. I'm going to place this under here and scale it up. A little bit and bring it over here and this is what you're going to have color it white and this one yellow select both and press ctrl G on your keyword to group it and the next thing we're going to do guys is duplicate this this way and color this one this so this is what we're going to have and the next thing we're going to do is change this to uppercase change the font to Futura bold it then select shape tool on your toolbar, scale this up this way and place it at the middle. So guys, this is the result you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is copy this text and bring it down over here and use our rectangle to create a banner over here and give it yellow remove the outline then place this over here change it to uppercase bold it and read adjust this is the result you're going to have now select your ellipse tool and drag over here to create a round cycle give it a white color remove the outline then duplicate this and give it a red color change this to yellow so this is what you're going to have 
So the next thing you're going to do is bring in this text. Place it over here and break it apart using Ctrl K on your keyboard. Cut this and paste over here. Change the font, Futura, bold, and scale it up. Change the color to white. And bring this, change it to white, bold it, and place it over here. Now do the same to this, change to uppercase, change the font. To Futura, bold it and place it here. So, guys, this is what you're going to have. And the next thing we're going to do is bring in this text, place it over here, copy this also, and place it over here. Place this at the middle, color it white. You can play around it, adjust it, and this is just a random text anyway. Bold it and scale it, reduce it a bit, place it over here. So, the next thing I'm going to do now is select my rectangle tool and draw a shape here, give it a white stroke. Now duplicate on this or press shift F12 on your keyboard then increase the weight to 1.5 click OK so the next thing I'm going to do is break this apart and give it a yellow color change to uppercase and change the font to Futura, bold it and give this a white color. Alright, guys, so the last thing we're going to do is place this over here and give it a white color. And scale it a bit using your shape to place it over here. Bring in this paper and um, place it here, maybe something like this. And what I'm going to write here is spice available. Okay guys, so this is how to design a restaurant, burger, flyer, and corridor. If you have any question guys, please give me a feed, drop me a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have any question guys, as I said, don't forget to drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this flyer and let me know your opinion. Let me know what you guys want me to do next in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.